How are we doing hunters? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sitka Fanatic jacket along with how I take it to and from the stand with the Sitka tool bucket. The Fanatic is great for what I consider uh, 40 degrees and below but that's all dependent on your layering systems. The Fanatic line is very nice because it does have the Gore wind stopper uh, built into this. If the wind is strong enough, it doesn't matter how many layers you have on. If you don't have any sort of wind stopper material built in, especially on your outer layer, um, you're gonna struggle to stay in the stand as long as you need to. And whenever it comes to hunting mature bucks, uh, the more, we all know, the more time you can put in the stand, the better your odds are. So having that wind stopper built in on the uh, outer layer of the Fanatic jacket is very, very crucial and uh, a big part of my hunting success. So what I'll do now, I'll go ahead and put on the Sika Fanatic jacket and just show you a few of the features on this and kind of how I use them and then we'll get into how I transport the jacket in and out of the woods, in and out of the stand uh, so I don't overheat on my way in and way out while walking. Just like all Sitka stuff, this is uh, what I consider true to fit. Uh, it's a very athletic fit. It's not real, real baggy. It's a nice, uh, tight, firm fit. So what I really like about that is just how easy it is to move in the stand and be able to draw your bow because your your arms aren't near as baggy and loose fitting as some of the other camo that I've used in the past. You'll notice here that it does have the diagonal zipper that just zips up straight across. And what that does is it allows it to have this built-in hand muff pocket, hand warmer pocket down here in the front. I'll show you the material on the inside of this here in just a second. But you've got the hand muff here, and then on the outside of that, you have this zipper pocket in the front. What I typically do is I just leave my release in this part here. I know some people will put hand warmers in this part, but I like my hand warmers to be in the actual kangaroo pocket where your hands are gonna be so you can put the actual hand warmers into your hands. And it just keeps that whole pocket much warmer that way step forward a little bit here and you'll notice here has the built-in grunt tube pocket there's the grunt tube pocket itself and then next to it you have a built-in rangefinder pocket next to the grunt tube pocket right here's another zipper with the pocket behind the grunt tube pocket and the rangefinder pocket. You can see how far that goes in. Very nice deep pocket for, uh, I use that for my cell phone a lot. And I actually carry my rangefinder in this pocket into the stand. And then once I get there, I'll zip that back up and put the rangefinder where it needs to go. Try to get a shot of that material on the inside. You can see there, it's that real thick, fleecy type stuff. Very warm for your hands. And that goes all the way through. All right, had to get that off. Starting to overheat a little bit. This thing is very warm, especially inside over the top of the sweatshirt. Here I'll show you the back of the jacket. It has the pass-through for your tree, tree rope, your harness. So you can wear your harness over the top of your uh, mid layers and then pass the harness through. You can pass the harness through just right here once you get to the stand and get your jacket on over the top of your mid layers. And on the inside of this jacket, 
That's the material on the inside. Very thick, very well insulated, but tight fitting and easy to move. Easy to raise your rifle, easy to draw your bow. And this also has these built in loops here. Um, you could attach a flashlight to that. Um, you could tie off your uh, grunt tube or your rangefinder lanyards and then connect it right there so that way uh, there's no chance of you losing it if you were to drop it out of these uh, pockets. So if you guys are thinking about buying the Sitka Fanatic jacket, uh, please just take a look at the link that I have below in the description. Um, that's a link to my company store at uh, Amazon and it's not much and I just do this on the side, do it for fun, do it for a hobby. I like providing uh, helpful interviews to others looking into the same products that I'm using in the field and uh, if I don't believe by them or I don't use them then I wouldn't be putting up this video or telling you guys to follow the link below. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I've done a complete review on the Sitka tool bucket. Uh, please take a few minutes to go to that and take a look at that review. It's pretty extensive on how I use this along with my running gun setup, my Lone Wolf Alpha. Uh, but what I want to do now is just show how I utilize the Sitka tool bucket to transport in mainly my Sitka Fanatic jacket and any mid layers that I might not want to walk in with just because it's so easy to get overheated on some of the longer walks to the tree stand. So what I'll do here is I'll just fold it over itself and this is easier to do while it's laying on the ground but I'm just going to show you here with it hanging on this uh, coat hanger. So you would just lay it on top of your pack and then Sika has several of these lashing systems, lashing ropes. Just grab one from each side. Snap it together, then grab both ends, pull it, and just kind of fold it over itself. And you can stack up other mid layers that you might need to take in. Um, I've also done it this way and set my bow on top of my jacket and mid layers and used the lashing system that way and the pack did just fine. Um, couldn't even tell that there was any additional weight back there really. So what you would do after you get the jacket or additional mid layers on the back, as you can see, it rides pretty easy back there just on the top of that flap. You just snap your chest strap and your waist belt. Cinch that down and there it is. Very easy and like I say you can throw your bow back there. Uh, more mid layers, even your bibs if you need to. Plenty of room. There's other lashing systems back there. Very simple, very easy. Then your hands free or I typically carry in my bow, but you could put the bow back there. Uh, additional mid layers, I put my bibs back there with the Fanatic jacket. I actually use the Sick Incinerator bibs. I did a review on those as well. So as always, hopefully this review helps someone else out that's looking into the Sick of Fanatic line. Um, I use this in combination with the Sick Incinerator bibs. That's a very good combination for me, the reason I do that. Uh, some places that I have to walk in are a little bit heavy on the burrs and briars and the Sika incinerator um, The outer layer is not quite as fleecy as this is so the burrs they do get stuck in this a uh, little bit a little bit more than what the incinerator does uh, the incinerator it still collects burrs and uh, briars, but it's very easy just to brush off of that material this with the fleece they do kind of get bedded down in there a little bit, but it's just a matter, just like everything else, you just sit down and pick them out one by one. But 
that's the reason I went with the sick incinerator bibs over the fanatic bibs. So, as always, hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it can help someone else out that's looking into uh, some Sika gear. Very high quality stuff. I'm trying to slowly transition to all Sika gear. Uh, I just like the way that everything is thought out. Everything just makes sense. Um, very good build quality. Very warm, very versatile. If you guys like what you see today, just please subscribe, uh, like this video, follow along. I'm gonna keep doing more product and tech reviews as I go as well as uh, keep continuing my outdoor adventures and hopefully get better with each video that I'm making. Just kind of starting this out and uh, learning as I go, but really enjoy helping you guys out. Helping one another is, is very valuable in this sport. And as always, happy hunting. Can't beat it. Thanks, guys.